So before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know you can still use my creator code Fantasia on the EA app or thesims.com when purchasing any packs that you want. And currently right now there's actually a sale going on, which is super cool. So it's the Lunar New Year sale and a bunch of your favorite packs will be on sale right now, including a 10% off for the for rent pack. This also includes kits. So I just wanted to let you guys know that you can still use my code and I do receive a percentage from this when you use the code. So I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much. If you decide to use my code, it honestly means the world to me, truly, because it does directly support me and my channel. So yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and get on into things. Hey everyone, welcome to another save file video. So today we are going over the Dream Scar save file. I do just want to give a huge shout out to Savvy That Simmer because I actually found out about this save file because of her. She recently did a video on it, so I'm going to link that one down below. So go check it out. It's such a good review of the save file, but I just had to go over it myself as well. Of course, we're going to be getting to everything with the maps and all of that. But you guys, I just want to say even loading into this area of Willow Creek, I I was blown away. Like, look at how everything looks. I'm loving the vibe. It's giving very realistic energy. And you guys know I love save files like that. Like, this automatically makes me want to play in this save file. Like, I just have one of my sims here, by the way. But I am obsessed with how this neighborhood looks. It's absolutely stunning. Just so cool to look at. And this could look even more realistic if you get some of the mods that are not required, but they are optional, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and head on over to where you can download this. Of course, it'll be linked down below as always. Okay, so here is where you'll be downloading the save file. This is the first version of the save file, so it's not complete. However, what is done is incredible. There's some photos here if you guys want to look at that, but we're going to be looking at stuff in game. So included is Willow Creek, Newcrest, Magnolia Promenade, and San My Shuno. And also we kind of get a little rundown of the different lot types. There's also so like some adult stuff in here. There's a nightclub, there's an adult club, which is actually like a strip club. So <laughs> we're going to be taking a look at that. And they do have Alder Sims living in San Myshuno, but you're going to notice there's some empty homes that are not, um, you know, lived in yet, but they will be. It's just that not everything's done. So yeah, tons of info here that you, if you want to know anything, you're going to find it here. And then mods used. These ones here are the mods used to create the save file, but you don't need these to play with it. And then this is the recommended mods. Again, you don't need it. I have some of these, not all of them. I was going to do the default car replacements, but at the same time, I also wanted to show you guys what it was, what it would look like if you didn't want to grab any of these mods. So I decided to not, but this car replacement mod looks so good, but yeah. You can get Wicked Whims and then have the adult clubs, you know, SNB Bank, all that. So this is just optional though. The save file will work just fine if you don't want to use that stuff. There's also some food mods that again are optional. So let's go ahead and jump into the game. So as I mentioned, I did move my sim in here. However, there is no sim living here like when you download this. And yeah, you can see that Willow Creek is empty as far as sims living in it, but it won't always be that way. It's just this is a work in progress, but I definitely recommend kind of following along with this because oh my god, you guys there's literally a Staples office center and like look at how the parking lot is and everything and there's a Willow Creek Park that looks more like a real park you'd see. I don't know. I love the realism here. It's so so cool. There's this restaurant. We have a nightclub and we have a clothing and music store which is pretty dang cool. I also like this is the neighborhood we were in and all the houses just look so so realistic. We also have some townhomes which you can go in and make these residential rentals which is also amazing. So now those can function properly. I love the way this house looks here. We will take a look at some of the homes and also there's like income-based apartments which are which is really cool. So again, you can make this a residential rental and that's awesome. There's a wedding venue over here. We have the Hampton Inn, which seems to be like kind of like a bed and breakfast type of vibe. We'll definitely be looking at that. Look at these beautiful houses over here. We have a community pool, a gym, and the children's therapy center, which is really nice to have. So Oasis Springs is not complete yet. Of course, work in progress, completely demolished. So I'm really excited to see what the creator does with that. And then Newcrest is done except the families aren't moved in yet. So what would be really cool if you want to grab this now is you could just like place a bunch of your sims here or sims from the gallery. I find that process fun. Also a pet smart. So cool, right? We have Academy Sports. Then we have a Newcrest 
food mart, which we definitely need to go visit. And there's a gas station in the front. We have a skating rink slash arcade, a lazy boy furniture store. Like everything is like real life. And I'm obsessed with safe files that are like that. So this is like right up my alley. So then we have the Magnolia Credit Union. So I believe this is the lot that would need SMB Bank, which I don't think is currently in my game. But if I was to play with the safe file, I definitely would want that in there. We have this outlet store and then we have a photo studio. And then last but not least, San My Shuno. So San My Shuno is where the townies are. So here you have people living and I'm really excited. It's like, like, look at these families. How freaking cute. So all the apartments are redone and you can see like, actually, let's take a look here. So here, once they load up, up <laughs> and we're gonna be able to see some of these sims living here and i think this will give you guys a good idea to you know the type of sims this creator makes and the type of sims you'll see throughout the other worlds when those are populated so look at these sims of course this is my sim so just ignore that but yeah like look at these cute families she is gorgeous we have this big family here i just i love 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 look at them with the cute little toddler they have a toddler as well or no this one's an infant and yeah so there's also apparently like some sims like they all have backstories and stuff and like someone is like a part of a gang or something i don't know we're gonna get to that they have a cute little dog i just i love these sims so if you guys are wondering here is the vanilla unicorn from gta so <laughs> Yeah, we have a nightclub over here. Um, and if you go ahead and click on the families here, there is a whole backstory and a lot of these backstories are very mature. So keep that in mind. So Quincy Evans, a drug lord, leader of the four life crew and who runs San Myshuno. Many detectives try to take him down, but no one has ever succeeded. Could he have connections on the inside living with his four main girls, <laughs> Adriana, Gabriella, or Gabriella, Nikita, and Kaylee. He seems to be sitting on top of the world. Wow. <laughs> Like, I love that. So then we have these Sims here and you can see they have a backstory too. Ooh, aspiring rapper. Okay, interesting. This could be also so much fun if you got even more mods. He wants to make it in San Myshuno and hopefully move into a penthouse with low writing skill and singing skill. Can he make it to the top of the music career? And then see, yeah, gang leader. Quincy of the 4Life crew couldn't think of a good name. <laughs> Living the life of crime. Like, this would be so, so interesting to explore. We have Clarence has a tough life working a nine to five dropped out of school when he was really young he along his best friend max was able to afford an apartment seeing his neighbor curtis who is very smart excel in college got him thinking about going back to school and getting his life together so cool you guys i just i love 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 so again like they're in the gang oh but what the gang doesn't know is adam is an undercover cop you guys what okay this is so cool like the drama you can see it like unfolding already and we've just started look at this apartment everything looks so awesome so like uh, like yeah everyone has backstories vanessa lynn is struggling with her worries about her husband adam who is taking on a huge undercover job to take down crime boss quincy Ooh, so yeah everything's like so connected to one another we have the battery center uh park here and this looks awesome we definitely need to go look at that that looks crazy look at this my Shuno restaurant you guys anyways of course we have to look at the vanilla unicorn first like duh <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and check it out okay so here it is here from the outside look at how cool and realistic this looks i am obsessed like literally so obsessed so let's head in honestly i would have loved to come here like with one of the sims and check this out okay the colors and everything you guys we have like look at that and if you have wicked whims you can go ahead and like put poles here and stuff um for the strippers and they can like actually dance and everything so you have the option to do that or don't you know like whatever you want to do and then here is like for the owner i guess and then through here the girls can get ready in here and you have like some private rooms this is so so cool and so realistic like it really really is and then like a more private area for dances there and okay so if you have snb bank this will be like functional oh that's really cool and then you know like a little like break room i guess and yeah we have like the bar area this would be so neat like especially with it fully functioning like how cool is this Okay, so next up, I really want to take a look at the battery. Like, it just looks so awesome. So let's check that out. Wow. Okay, this is insane. What? Okay, I'm blown away. I am blown away. Seriously, this is so cool. I feel like this would be the most fun place to take your sims. There's so many food vendors, lots of area to sit and eat. 
Look at this. <gasps> and like, you know, because of high school years, they can actually play these sports, which is fun. It won't exactly function how you're probably hoping, but like, that is so cool. We have the photo booth over here. See, this is where high school years comes in handy, although like it's lacking in some ways. Uh, you know, it comes in handy for lots like these. I feel like, oh my God, like all this area here, you can sit and eat and everything. Okay. We're like bouncing all over the place. <laughs> I am obsessed. It is so cool. I'm going to put the walls down actually for this because there's a lot going on. Okay. There's no basement or anything. So over here. Ooh. Okay. So this is like a fancy bar. It looks like super bougie to be honest. And then in here we have the bathrooms and ooh. Okay. I like this like sporty area. You know why? I, I feel like uh, all the guys would come in here and watch sports and play the games together. <laughs> I definitely feel like that's exactly what would be happening there. So I love, love, love that. And then over here we have like the dance area. Oh yeah. Like everyone to get lit over here. <laughs> I imagine like everyone getting drinks and being literally so drunk dancing and everything like what? Okay. This is so cool. I am obsessed. I'm literally, I cannot wait already to get the next version of the save when it's ready. And then if you have mods like base mental and stuff, they can come over here and like actually get high. I don't know. This save file is just giving GTA in general. So <laughs> like, but I, I love that, you know, I love one. So I don't even play GTA. But I like my game to be like chaotic and realistic and like just craziness going on like GTA, <laughs> which speaking of, I totally want to play the new GTA when it releases because it just looks so, so good. But yeah, that's why I love save files like this. I don't know. Like I just, yeah, I want my game to be like rated R like <laughs> sometimes not always, but it's so, it's fun. Like I love the chaos. Oh, look how beautiful this looks here. I don't know, random, but I just thought I would point that out. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and look at another lot. Okay. I really want to go like check out one of the families, but I don't know who, like everyone seems so interesting to me. This one wasn't like one of them an undercover cop. Yes. Okay. We're going to go see them. I'm curious. Like that is so like, I don't know. I feel like the drama would start right away. And that like instantly makes me think of like a TV show. Okay. So here we are. First of all, their place is just giving so much realism. I don't know. I love this energy. I'm obsessed. Like the dirty floors, the way this TV set up like that. So this is Adam. And so he is the undercover cop. <gasps> oh my God. No freaking way. This is so cool. Okay. And then see, this is the four life crew. So this is the gang and they do hacking, swipe objects and fight with young adults and adults. So yeah, here's everyone who's in it. <gasps> Oh my God. He's currently feeling so flirty, which is so funny. And he's like really close. Okay. Interesting. So he has a really good relationship with multiple people in the gang. Whereas him, he's only really close with Jordan. Cause you know, they live together. <gasps> oh my God. They, they would be so fun to play out. Like actually so, so fun. It would be so interesting. Like, I don't know if anyone has like a partner or anything, but I love that there's like relationships set up and all that. Oh, he knows like a lot of people. Oh my God. Oh, Oh, okay. So you're with this girl. Wait, I'm curious, like what's going on here? Oh, they're married. Huh? Okay. Interesting. Oh, this is like super interesting. Okay. Wait, who's, oh, oh my God. So he has a daughter and everything. Like he has another full life going on. Right. And he's being an undercover cop, but it's like actually laid out where like he literally does have another life and he's like living with this guy as a roommate. <gasps> oh my goodness. And he would have to like secretly go and see his wife and daughter. Oh my God. This would be like the most fun thing to play out ever. Like I want to actually play with them. I I'm obsessed with that. So we may come back and look at more families here because honestly the families here are really, really interesting to me, but I do feel like I need to look at some stuff over here because I really want to take a look at staples. Like that's so cool. I don't know. There's just definitely things I want to check out here. Let's go here first. I even just like love the parking lot. Oh my God. Stop. This looks like in real life. Oh my God. I, what? I'm so impressed. 
<gasps> oh my god and even without like the car override mod this still looks so realistic but you guys that car override mod that's like linked in the post you need to grab it because your vehicles will look even better like i need to go get it but like even without it those cars look so realistic parked out there and <gasps> oh my god so something about me i love staples like i'll even just like go in there just to like look around like i don't know i, I don't know I I does anyone else i feel like everyone thinks staples is boring i love staples <laughs> So here's where like, you know, you go check out and then look at all the computers and everything. I love the way it's laid out again, like so realistic. I don't know. I love. And then yeah, like they always have like the areas with the desks and the chairs. This is so fun. Like obviously it wouldn't have, well, I mean, it would have purpose because like obviously there's functional stores in The Sims 4. I'm just not the biggest fan of like how the system works in The Sims 4, but like this, this would make me like it a little bit more, I guess, you know? Okay, obsessed with that. All right, so next, I am so indecisive because like, I want to look at this park, but I feel like you guys can kind of see what it looks like. So as, you know, uh, as much as it makes me want to go there, like I'm just gravitated towards it. I feel like it'd be more worth looking at the buildings where you can't see inside. So I really want to go there. There's also this, like, what is this meant to be? We may go there too. Okay, let's look here. All right, so the outside of this building, oh my goodness, I love that. I love the way the parking lots are all set up and everything. I'm just like, I don't know. I can't get over this. So we have like, you know, the lobby area, which, oh my God. Okay, wait. Yeah, this is giving like nice fancy hotel actually. So you have your cafe area over here, like the check-in desk. Um, yeah, so this is like a straight up hotel, which can like very easily be functional. It might not function the way you want it to like sims probably won't sleep there and stuff but oh my god even this pool area legit looks like the pool area that i've seen in like so many hotels i've stayed at tell me why this is like another type of realism here like seriously oh my god even like the hotel rooms you guys can we just hope and ju just put it in put put it into the air okay we we need the energy for a hotel's pack okay it needs to happen <laughs> I need these rooms to all be occupied with people staying for like a couple nights, a week, whatever. Oh my gosh, I need that system in my life. That would be so cool. So I love, love, love that. All right, I want to check out more houses, but first... I'm just like eager to get to Newcrest for a minute here because of this Newcrest Food Mart. Like what? And then the Pet Smart. Like I can't even explain to you. Is this also, okay, I'm in Canada. What the heck is Academy Sports? Is that also supposed to resemble like a real life place? I'm curious. Comment down below. But we do have Lazy Boy here and we obviously have Pet Smart and I want to go see those just because it's like, I cannot. Like when people make Tim Hortons and well, can Canadian. <laughs> I usually see Starbucks on the gallery. Um, but yeah, like that gets me so excited. Like McDonald's, like all that. I get so excited. Okay. First of all, right out, right away off the bat, I can't even contain myself. Look at the way this building looks. First of all, love that there's a gas station. Oh my gosh. We need functional cars. We need gas stations. If they give us cars, you guys, and don't give us gas stations, I will lose my mind. Um, <laughs> And then look at this building, like all like the posters on the front and stuff. It looks so real. Like stop, 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 stop. I, oh my God. And like the back, there's just a bunch of trash, like exactly how it would be, right? <gasps> okay. So heading in. Oh my God. Like this is with no CC. Like what the heck? Like actually, <gasps> I just really appreciate lots like these. Like I know some people might be like, why? Like what is the point? But like they are functional because you can come here and get some boba and stuff. And like, there's a fridge here and it just feels like, I don't know, like I would like pretend my Sims are like taking a road trip or something like that. And like stopping here to like get a drink and whatever. I don't know. That's, it just makes me think of those things. So next let's look at the pet smart here. And do we want to look at, we might not go there. I don't know. There's so much here that I want to look at. I, I can't, I think we have to go to Academy Sports. Like there's like tents and everything in the front. I'm just like, is that real? I need to Google it. Okay, yeah, Academy Sports is like a real place. We just don't have that here. That's what I figured. Okay, anyways, whoa. <laughs> so let's look at the Pet Smart. Oh my God. Yeah, like again, so realistic. Okay, let's head in. I feel like this is going to be adorable. Yep, it's so cute. Like, this would be so much more fun to come here and get your pet stuff this way. Like, I love the idea of that. Like, oh my goodness. This is why, like, I do wish 
The shopping system was a little bit different in The Sims 4 and I like forever wish that Get to Work would be refreshed because I just wish it was a little different. I don't know because it's like this is giving the energy I want but then when my Sims actually come here like I don't know. It's not giving. I can't explain it. Like I need a shopping system like The Sims 2. Also this is kind of like a vet clinic too then. Oh I like that little touch in the back there. Okay fun. So let's go ahead and look at that like sports academy place. I feel like I'm wanting to look at everything here but like I'm sorry oh my god this house though okay sorry there's like there's too much going on here i'm this safe home makes me so happy <laughs> so here there's actually someone owning it but we're just gonna still go into build Ooh, okay this is so cool wait I mean, we have other stores like this, but not this specifically. And yeah, like they definitely look like this even in the front and everything. Again, like so freaking realistic. <gasps> oh my God, can you? Yeah, so like you would come and get all your camping gear here and like sports stuff. This is so adorable. Workout stuff. Yeah, this is reminding me of a store we exactly have as well. So that's super duper cool. I always want to look at like so many of the community lots and I want to show you guys some of the houses too. But like, can you blame me? This house looks really adorable. I think I want to check that out. So again, like no Sims live in these houses yet, but like, you know, you could either just put some Sims in there yourself or just wait until um, there's families already in here. Whatever you want to do, I would literally just move Sims in because like this is so fun. Like I, oh, this is actually not furnished yet and I'm sure it will get furnished, you know, like based on who that, whoever's going to live here. Ooh, I love this driveway going up like that. Love, love, love that. And then, ooh, Ooh, I like what they did with this pool here. Okay, I really like that. But yeah, it looked like the floor plan was like a really nice layout that would be easy to work with. Yeah, look at that kitchen. Oh my god. Um, hello. This is like my dream kitchen. <laughs> um, and yeah, like here would be your living room, bathroom. This could be like a laundry room if you wanted. Um, or you could put like a shower and stuff in here because it's just like the half bath or whatever. And then like a full garage and everything. Like, yeah, I really like this layout. Ooh, I love when things are like this. You like look over. I don't know. I just like that vibe. <laughs> I always want to build houses like this and I just feel like I never have a floor plan where it works for me. So like I never end up doing it. So, oh, there's a shower up here and also like just a bath here. So yeah, I feel like I would put laundry down here then. So I love, 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 love. Okay, so heading, um, yeah, let's go back to San My Shoe now and maybe look at another one of the families. Oh my God, like look at this big place. Everything is furnished so beautifully. There's actually quite a few Sims living here. So, and then there's these Sims here. Robin, who was married to Marlon, NBA star, has always dreamed of owning her own clothing boutique. Now that she has it, will it be a breeze to run or a nightmare? Ooh. Janae Garrett just moved to the big city and can't wait to see what the city has to offer. Will it be more than what she bargained for? Interesting. Oh, so these Sims are best friends. Oh my god, I'm freaking obsessed with the Sims. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Gabriella and Jacqueline are having a friendly competition on who can get their neighbor Dion to fall in love with them or to fall in love with one of them. <laughs> When Dion returns feelings with one of the girls, will their friendship last? Interesting. So Amaya and Dante welcomed their second child, Tia. Their apartment is starting to get smaller. Is home ownership in their future? The only problem is that they don't want to leave the city. I love, like they would be so interesting to play with right off the bat. We have this sim here. So Tasha David wants to be an actress and make it in the big city while working at the Vanilla Unicorn. She is hoping she can make enough money to go to acting school. <gasps> Oh, I love that. I, oh, look how cute they are. Everyone just, I can't, I can't. I'm just like obsessed with all these Sims, you guys. Honestly, I could, I could go like on and on and just like visit everyone, but I do want to save some stuff for you guys. Look at them. They look so cool. Dakota Vance is a child prodigy when it comes to music, being able to play piano, violin, and guitar at a very young age. One thing he is sure of is that music is passion. Too bad he isn't the he isn't that confident in his relationship. He is currently in a relationship with a bossy materialist.
narcissistic woman who has nothing in common or who he has nothing in common with. He considered himself a loner until he met his neighbor that he is being to have feelings for or beginning to have feelings for. Will he dump his girlfriend for the cute girl next door? Oh my god, the drama. The drama. Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here as much as I just want to look at everything. I'm going to save some stuff for you guys. This is so interesting. I love everything here. This restaurant looks super interesting to look at. And just based off these families here, just imagine when the creator puts townies into the other worlds. Oh, it's going to be incredible. I cannot wait. So like I said, I will have the link down below. Definitely download this. And then like I said, the mods are optional, so it's totally up to you. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.